Hello guys, it's Mungai Eve. Welcome to the Mungai Eve show and of course you're the number one online TV show. So guys, leo tumekuwa kwenye big reveal, big day ya Nadia Mokami and Aruboy. And with me I have KRG the Dawn. KRG alikuwa hapa. KRG, wanasema nga ukosi mahali ni ukweli? Na kosanga, siyezi kwa mahali hakuna kitu na nihusu. Lazima kini kitu kama ina nihusu, liko ndani mbaya sana. Yalo liko ina kusu aje? Kwa sababu Arobo is my boy and you know tumetoka way back from uh, tukia za mziki. Mm -hmm. Yaman is a, it's like a brother to me. Mm -hmm. Yaman and uh, I was invited mm -hmm. so I had to come and support them. Mm -hmm. Yaman. Okay, but you came really late. Kuna kijana upcoming and assume. Bua sana alikuwa kwa meniambia na kuja home. Mm -hmm. and, and anipitia tukuje na epa moja. Mm -hmm. Ame niweka parking, baka nika choka, nika rudi nyumbani, nika kula. Mi nilikuwa ni maoga by saa sita by the saa sita. Mm -hmm. Nime shinda tu wapo. Na shinda ni mpigia sima nempea kwa kona. Deka kumi, hame nchelewesha sana. Kijana yupi huyo? Kijana moja masai na jaribu kumsaidia kwa industry. <laughs> lakini, <laughs> tutamsamia. Kujana simpea umarufu. Ndamupa umarufu, lakini sasa, ama hata tu ni mtaje tuju, ni ameo kumimeamo kumsaidia. <laughs> Moja tu ni mtaje tu ni mpe umarufu. Anito dufula. Ndia meniweka nyumbani. Paka saa hii saa kumi na moja. Ndia meni release nyumaji. Ndia naniambia itifanya hivi bro. Weo tukutane tu huko. Uh -huh. eh, so ni kakamu leti. Uh, but dufula ni msa ni mkali na umu kuki. But hii mekuwe kisimekana kia rji wewe. Uh -huh. Kazi yako ni kolabo kolabo. Ati hupanyangi singo hata moja. Ninafanyanga singo. Niko na ngoma kibao. Niko na summer time. Yo ni big hit song. Niko na more love. Uh -huh. Kenya hiko. Uh, ni mi upenda kusaidia watu. Nikiona watu wanafanya kama muziki kanaeleweka mm. na kuita tunashirikiana pamoja sasa hata huyo kijana na hiyo Masai ameniweka huko ngoja tu nimuite enda huo huo tuna adwo huo tu acha nasema kuna hit song nyingi anafanya collab na wewe akusaidie wewe nikuulize mungai sio unajua sio unajua wasanii tulia karibia kwanza mama ni mimi ndio nimekuita hapa tena umekuja hapo anza kuongea ongea unaona kwa nani amsaidi kangi nimesikia nimepita hapa nikasikia kiniongelea ati anasema wewe oh, ati ananisaidia mimi ni hapo kami ngoja nikuulize swali sema ngoja kwanza nimesema ndio umenifanya nikakuja late event ukweli ama uongo sema kwa nini ndio nilikuwa mimi driver wako unaniambia mimi driver wako kwa nini mimi nahusiana aje na mama yake kuja late alikuwa akubebe alikuwa akubebe acha bebe nani huyo anataka kulibeba huyo gari yake jeki hivi Huyu hatuishi pamoja hatukae pamoja mtaa moja mimi niko mimi naishi huko ru mimi naishi eh naishi anasema naishi huyu jamaa anasema naishi runda anaishi hapa asikutangaje hapa hapa tarehe hapa hapa na hapa naishi hapa na Nigeria cheka na cheki wana sasa ona set inachukia wa Nigeria lakini hakuna mtu karibu na kwangu kwa hiyo mahali umesema so mimi yeye kukuja late inahusiana mimi nimefika hapa mbele yake tena anaanza kunipigia masimu nikamwambia nikamwambia bro unaona kuna vijana wake fulani ana kuna vijana anatembea na vijana wake mikono mtawa wapigiwa vijana wako wakusaidie mimi kunipigia simu nikiwa kwa event anishaingia hiyo siwezi fanya ati nimchukue sijui ati kuja kuja unionyesha hapa barabara ameshinda kuingia si hapa wasikaulikaze wale msoja walikuwa wamemkataza sijuangi mahali kama huko unajua mimi where i roll huko uptown uptown huko kwa wadosi Yeah. Safari Park ni hapo lakini iko kwa hii highway ya kwenda huko is a mageto imagine tume tumeuzia punch punch amekuja eh manzi hapa wanauza maji cheke hapa hapa kasema hii maji ni 500 eh wanauza expert ayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayay
ako chini huyu jamaa hata sisi hajapata hit song niambie hit song hata moja huyu msema afanye peke yake moja hivi ana acha ni kujibu acha ni kujibu hiyo hit ngoma yake alisaidiwa sikia haya sikia huyu anasema huyu ngoja nimalize bro huyu anasema huyu jamaa ni dance artist ngoma gani ya dance huyu jamaa shaifaje hata moja sama time sama time ni nini bro nani anajua ngoma Watu wote wanaijua wewe ndio uijui tu kwa sababu uwezi understand. Unajua unataka tuimbe kimasai lakini hatuimbi kimasai leo. Hatuimbi kimasai ama Kiswahili ni dance. Why is it that I always do collaborations by the way? Nabado tunagonya collaboration yako na conscience. Siweza kutupima wewe. Okay, unajua kwa nini mimi ufanye ndio kufanya collab? It is a you know naweza sema aje. Unaona ukienda sasa hii kwa nyumba yako, uone maandizi. Ngoja, suri la. Wewe ndio umeuliza swali ama ni mimi? Uko na kirere sana wewe. Na nitaacha kutembea na wewe. Ukienda tu place uchukue upate kwa nyumba kuna banana kuna orange na kuna mango ama upate zimetengenezwa pudding utakula nini Kuna orange Kuna orange tu ikiwa peke yake kuna mango peke yake kuna banana na kuna watermelon peke yake peke yake na kuna pudding utakula nini Pudding hii ni kila kitu Exactly so nikifanya collab na mse na kupatia vibe yangu na huyo mse tuna mix na kwa concussion safi na kupe na na entertain vizuri nasikia vibe yake ya Tina ya mtu mwingine No problem Issue dia mini peke yako Na mimi niko na ngoma nyingi peke yangu na ni vibe una get The the whole issue is iki tunafanya si competition i'm not competing with anyone i am just entertaining my fans so mimi nikisikia ma fans wangu wa KRG wale niko nao nataka kuwaletea kasauti kwa dufla na wachukulia dufla na waongeza kwa ile ya KRG i serve them at the end of the day ni entertainment ya man mbele ulikuwa unasema unahurumia wasanii na wasaidie dufla unamhurumia huyu namhurumia jojulikali na watu wangu na relax mimi ndo nimeuliza swali wewe nitatoa nitakutoa nje Sikia. Sasa hii ni wewe ulikuwa umeitwa hapa ama mimi nimekuita. Si nimekusaidia nikufanya ongelelea hapo. Huwezi fanya interview yako kivi yako. Lazima unitaja tu unanisaidia. Huyu cheke. Ona mimi vile mimi ni mgenerous. Nakupea paka collab kwa interview yangu wewe. Huyu jamaa nilimuona akiongea kwa interview nyingine akisema ati wewe wewe msanii namsaidia hata nimemwandikia hiyo ngoma alipata nikiandika. Huyu aniandikia ngoma huyu. Mimi nikaanza kuimba wewe mzee alikuwa sijui manager hapa ndio alikuwa hata kwa anajua hata kwa anajua kurecord muziki ni nini mimi nilikuwa nishapiga hit song yangu already ah piga hit song mimi ngoma yangu kwanza nikiwa solo tempo hiyo labda amina nganga huyu jamani nilipata kibu huyu alikuwa fan hiyo ni hit na ni hiyo ni hit ya zamani unajua acha nikwambie kitu moja unajua mimi naambiaga watu kitu moja usinitajie successor tunajuanga mimi nilikuanga usiniambie vitu kama hizo unajua kwa nini unajua kwa nini hiyo station alienda ngoma zangu waziko mimi ngoma zangu haziwezi ingia kwa kompyuta ya zamani. Ukiweka hiyo jine na kataa. Ngoma yangu pia huwezi ipata kwa tape. Unajua hawa mangoma zao ziko paka kwa makaset. Unajua kaset? Ngoma ya huyu mtu iko kwa kaset. Ni mzee, unajua kwa 47. Relax, ngoja nimalize. Sikia sasa. Ngoma yangu haiwezi ingia kwa kompyuta ya zamani. Mimi kama Windows yako ni ile ya zamani, iwezi ingia kwanza kwa ma Windows. Lazima ikao kwa Macbook. Tena version ya kutoka 2016 kukuja huku ndo nilianza muziki. Wewe ukianza vitu za zamani, mimi nitatoa utanitaingia aje. Tempo nilitoa lini? 2016. 2016. Yeye ngoma 2016. Ngoma ile hit kweli si bro. Wewe bro. Mbona mimi? Wewe kwanza wewe ulikuja wewe akinja approach mara kwanza bro. Manzee napenda napenda vibe yako bro manzee wewe ndio umeinspire hata nikakuwa mimi sikuwa naandika muziki huyu jamani kuja kuniambia hivyo bro huyu hata sema sasa unajua sasa hivi anaona kamera hapa na ongea umbwa kini so maliza atakubali atasikia hata utasikia sasa hivi akitoka hapa alikuwa ananiambia sasa hivi alikuwa ananiambia sasa hivi stupidia manzee bro tuingie kwa studio mahali hapa kuna ngoma kuna ile ngoma tumefanya naye nimemsaidia nimemsaidia tulia nilimsaidia kuandika atapata hit song hii mwaka kwa sababu ameanza ku behave na ameanza ku roll sasa na mahali maniga wanajielewa e, mziki ni wanajua kuchonga sasa tutamsaidia haina shida atapata hit na ataimba solo mama akusema ati atidika sijui maovacado sijui ma pudding hiyo ni story hiyo <laughs> ni story anakuletea huyu aandike ngoma yake akiwa solo atoe hit lakini kwa sasa si sasa hivi kwa sababu tutamsaidia sasa hiyo of course unaona hiyo kangoma hiyo kangoma nimemficha ndio hata nimemficha it's my song alikuta nimemaliza niliandika na niko na mpaka evidence akianza kulia kwa studio sasa ni nyinyi mnasema mnanisaidia mnisaidia ndio mniandiki ngoma nikamwambia aje 
Imba kidogo nisikie yenye unaimba nikupatie ideas. Hata sitaki tu reveal details. Wacha tu ngoma itoke juu hii ni one of the biggest songs zenye nimewahi fanya. Kubwa ni noma ni ngoma hatari. Lakini juu amewakna nani? Amewakna master. Yes. Wewe unajua hata kwa siku nilikuomba saa 12 wewe nikakupiga simu. Unajua huyu jamaa niko na mademo zingine alikuwa ananitumia. Ana ameenda kwa ana rap. Nikamwambia relax. Uko na kierere. Muziki ifanywe hivyo. Ama ni wacheze sasa hii. Tuwacheze. Ile ulikuwa umefanya. Munga hivyo. Huyu si msanii wa dance hall kwanza. Anafanya ngoma ya piano. Mara juzi hata ametoa mapiano. Mwanzo ana hivyo sidi tungi. Sijali hata hiyo eh mazio beat ilikuwa inaenda design gate nikamwambia jo bro. Hizi ni gari. Ngoja nikutafute ka demo fulani alikuwa ametumia nikakataa nikamwambia siwezi record vitu kama hizi. Atini cheza. Roja. Naongea sana. Ah ah. Unaongea dai. Unaona ameandika nini? Ati ametuma ideas kia. Kwa hata beat ni yangu ya zabungo mwingine alisample. Hii ni ngoma yangu alisample mpaka beat ana copy ah, yangu ya zamani. Hii ni ngoma yangu like it. Wewe? Wewe. Ha, ah, 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 sasa cheki. Hii story ni hivi. Amegeuza, unageuza. Sasa unageuza hapa kwa sababu siwache tu asikia sauti ni nani kwa hii. Si nika kitu kako. Hakuna. Ngoja, inakuja. Wewe, cheki. Ngoja. Walitufanya. Ngoja. Kenye tulifanya hivi, mungai. Sikia, hii story. Hii ni sauti yangu. Alisema hiyo idea hiyo beat hiyo producer wake alikuwa amelalisha hiyo siku kama alikuwa lazy lazy so tukasema hiyo 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 instrumental ya ngoma tuitumia lakini tukamtucreate vibe sasa nani alikupigia simu kwani simu ni niwai kwani ukilipigia simu singoma yeye ndiye aliniomba kwa labo ah. so ni, so anapo dufla wewe nataka kusaidi kwa unajua hata watu walikuwa wamekusahau dufla acha tu nikwambie acha nishike hata microphone sasa hivi acha nikufanye ni acha nikae hapa katikati ni kuhost unajua hawa vijana na wataka ni warudishe kwa game maana ke kijana kweli anajua kuimba kidogo kidogo anaweza kidogo lakini hajulikani sana so nikaona huyu kijana tena ni masai wa kwetu huko. Hata juzi nilikuwa nimeenda na Arok watu wakalia huko tafadhali rudisha dufu. Unajua alitoroka huko na mama na watoto wawili wako huko. Posmoru huko kwao. Akaniambia tulia. Unajua nita shout. Nikamwambia no problem tutaleta kijana hapa nyumbani ataendelea na familia yake lakini kabla arudi wacha nimjulishanishe tena kidogo na wakenya ajulikane wamkumbuke ndio aki mambo ikikuwa mzuri atarudi nyumbani asaidie jamii. Sasa mimi namwambia Nairobi karibu na kuwelcome Nairobi <laughs> tena mara ya pili. Maana hii ni ile official. Sasa unajua unakaa driver wewe. Kama unaishinga wapi? Unaishinga wapi? Huyo jamaa kama Kajedo. <laughs> mimi namwambia welcome to the city. Alafu hii collab itakuwa ni kitu amazing. Umeimba vizuri hapo at least for this time round umeimba vizuri. Umeimba vizuri utasaidika hii mwaka. So tulia. Na alafu unajua hii ngoma, hii ngoma pia vile tuliongea na ule jamaa anataka ayeke kwa ile movie. So usianze kuchange tena mind. Na nilikuambia. Kwa kwa ule mse. Lakini si tinting tu. Sawa, iko hii ngoma itamsaidia sana. Kwa mara ya kwanza. Sawa, bye. Toka kwa interview yangu. Yes. Kerdi, ningechaka nijue like unajua leo imekuwa all about a uh, reveal ya pregnancy ya Aruboy na Nadia mm -hmm. kila mtu amefurahia they are expecting a bouncing baby boy yes. ningechaka kujua juzi juzi umepost ukasema you can't wait to get your divorce mm -hmm. uh, after Kanye West yake na Kim Kardashian ilipostiwa mm -hmm. so far mambo yako inaendeleaje and uh, are you planning unajua mm -hmm. umeanza kwa ten baby baby reveal kwa nini una plan ku reveal Ah zizi unajua mimi nangoja tu yani uh, divorce yangu go through kwa sababu it, it's been a journey it's been a journey it, imekuwa kama roller coaster unajua hii ni kitu nilitamani kufanya kutoka kitambo lakini unfortunately ama fortunately i didn't manage to do it kwa sababu nilikuwa najaribu kuona ile siko nataka ku kuiacha hiyo kuvunja nyumba na nini na nini but when it got a time where now i cannot take it anymore It's this the right time and then now I have other plans. Unajua kama mwanaume lazima uko na uko na plans zako in life. So I can't just wait to roll out my plan kwa sababu at the end of the day mimi ni mtu wa I don't like hiding things. Mimi si ule mtu mwenye nataka nizunguke zunguke sijielewi. You see like today we are here because of Aroboy and Nadia Mukami. I also want people in the near future 
to be coming to my events, me and my lovely wife, you know, get, and my family, you know, understand? So, he divorced Kienda. Then now I introduce at least I fall in love again because I love to love, mm -hmm. you know. Have you already moved on? Me, I moved on long time ago. Like in the city, I'm too. Yani, I moved on from you know, your life. You have to move on. Moving on does not mean you have to be in a relationship with yeah. someone else. So I moved on long time ago, and um, yeah, man, and but I'm the one. You don't who, have uh, someone you see. Currently, uh, there are so many interested parties. Interested parties like this a mean yo. I am the prize. When I get so me don't angalia wap in your wapi. Nan in your nan at a chesa naive at a chesa and amze visuri cabisa. While William to the chesa and amze visuri dona. I love for just as a lazimani angalia future young with ecoaje. I love for just says right now I have so many things that I need to take care of. I have so much responsibility as a single parent. So yeah, man, so I have to consider so many things before I decide this is the person. Yeah, man, so. So the theme today was, uh, all, uh, Nadia was trying to push, uh, she has just la launched a uh, foundation, mm -hmm. and she was trying to push this agenda of uh, get, yani, it can wait, yes. like pregnancy can wait. Yes. Meaning, someone who has kids, mm. which advice can you give to people out there? Do Nadia M. when you to see when I get to pregnancy, it's expensive, yeah. it's yeah. which advice you have to out there and also what can what can you say to any pressure in a kwanga social media oh fanya iv you know yeah you know I, like she said pregnancy can wait you know being a parent you have to prepare so much unajua kama mimi ile time niliambo you're going to be a dad for the first time i freaked out because i didn't know what to expect i didn't know what to do because i was 21 years old yes i am right now no, right now I'm 31. I so that time. that time I was 21. Mm -hmm. 21 say. Yeah. So you can imagine the pressure I had and then I didn't have, I didn't know what to tell my parents, mm -hmm. you know. So I, it was crazy, it was crazy. So mm -hmm. it can wait if you don't have a supportive, a supporting system, Mzuri. Mm -hmm. And then you need also to prepare because mtoto akingia, ni garama kubwa sana. Especially if you love, you know, kuna wale watu wanazaanga tu, mutu wa, hata jali mtoto wake, labda kama ni baba, hata za, tu na etoroke na ende, na hata akumbuki. Wajo, lakini kama ni mtu kama mimi, mtu mwenye napenda kukua responsible, it is expensive. So, if you are not ready for that kind of expenses, it's good kwanza ujijenge kimaisha. Kwa sababu the moment tu mtoto wamezaliwa, jua kwanza number one, you are a prisoner. You cannot run away from that prison because it's a lifetime prison. Pako we mtoto sikuila tajisimamia. Kwa sababu any time mtoto wakigonjeka, mtoto wakisikia nja, mtoto wakitaka chakula, yani nguo, niwewe, wakitaka kuenda kucheza, na kucheza pia ni expensive. Ulijua kitambo situ kwa nchiza bure. Sa hizi mtoto wa Nairobi kucheza ni pesa. Osha isikia kitu kama ya mcheto, mtoto wa nacheza na pesa. So everything is expensive. Mtoto wa nenda shule kama unapenda mtoto wako, unataka kuenda future mzuri, lazima umpeleke shule mzuri. Ni garama. And then squeeze Life ili mekua expensive itself. Kama unakutanga mtu mmoja na jishindu. Sasa mtu wakona baggage ya mtoto na watoto. Unajua? So it's a bit expensive. And then also kuna vitu wezi fanya. Wezi enda uka travel. Uka wacha watoto wako. Ivo lazima uka ukijuna na wachunga. Pia mama na itaji kuhishi maisha yake. Baba pia na itaji kuhishi maisha yake. So there's so many aspects you need to look into before you decide that this is the right time I want to be a father. But also don't wait too long. Because I could not at the right time. So we have to honor too. We may test. I love people. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm talking to a kizalu. I'm not going to say anything. So people, man, people are not going to kizalu. We're going to have family. Man, people are not going to. Because I know my turning point was when I got my first kid. That's when my turning point of life. I started focusing more on life, and then I now decided now every month that I'm going to be making, I end up with savings. Nani, nani, nisi kwa na fanya share. Kitambo nikuwa na piga share na Nairobi apa. Na kunywa kila kitu. <laughs> si bakizi ata shilingi. Jaman. Mm -hmm. So okay. those and, are the uh, things. And like you, KRG, since mm -hmm. you are a single parent, mm -hmm. do you do everything by your own? Or mm -hmm. your partner helps you? No, I, okay, me, I have, you know, uh, I, have, I have three baby mamas. One, we don't talk at all. Mm -hmm. uh, for the, you are muisho. Mm -hmm. Now, uyu tuliachana, lafu wale wengine, mm -hmm. tunaongea. So, wa, kwa wale tunaongea, we are co-parenting very well. Uh, because they have something they bring on the table. For the last one, I couldn't get on a letter on the table. So, 
I'm just taking care of everything fully 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but for all my kids, I take care of all of them fully 100%. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, to keep on living here, a yes. word to our boy in Nadia. You know, you learn to go out. Mzee, karibu kwenye safari, hii safari ni ndefu, na ikona misuko suko mingi, na ukwe tayari, ukwe na stamina. Kwa sababu hii safari, is not, a, is not a walk in the park. Mm. Utaona mambo mingi, utaambua mambo mingi. Utahavu kufumilia, na utahavu kuteka a lot of sacrifices for your, for, your, for your child, and for your marriage, and everything, you know, because it's a journey. It looks easy on TV, but it's not easy because mama kisha zatu, ujue mtoto wa meingia. Mtoto wa kiingia ni mtoto wa mama na baba. Kwanza mwezi tatu, usingizi sahao, iyo biashara ya kulala, forget. Sawa, mama akiwa ananyonyesha huku na uo natarisha what mama atakula. Kwa sababu unajua kazi zingine utaachia wafanyikazi, wataifanya vizuri vile uona dataka kuchunga demu wako. Mm -hmm. Mi nimekua kwa hiyo safari mara, mara ine. Mm -hmm. But uh, ile nimefanya vizuri ni tatu. Kwa sababu the first child, luckily I was not, we were not living together with the baby mama. Alikuwa naishi kwao. So mi nilikuwa nendanga tukuona mtoto. Lakini awa wengine, wote watatu, I have been there from ile siku niliambua niko na mimba. We are with child. So ni mekua hizo safari yote. I know what it means to go to the hospital. Umunangoja paka asubui. Mama na umwa. Leba ndo iyo na nini na nini. Mama anataka kukula mchanga. Mambo ni mingi. So there's so many things you need to prepare. And uh, I know Arobo is a fighter. He's, he's one of uh, guys that I've seen grow from nothing to where he is. So he's gonna, I know he's going to be strong. Na kipotea tu njia kisikei memelemea. Ana hala na muambia vile kuna endanga. Atunendele na safari. Asante sana Kiardi. I appreciate for your time. And in case guys you're watching this video and you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe. We meet in the next video.